everyone. I wanted to share with you today for anyone who is thinking about making a double sided circuit board. The problem you'll usually have is when you go to reflow the second side, when you once you place your components, the first side, the components that are too heavy, will end up falling off the board. Well, what you end up using is SMD or surface mount glue. It usually comes in red. I don't know why it isn't blue or purple, but it's always red, just like in this picture of a professional uh, board done. You can see those little red dots on it. Those little red dots is this glue. It is a heat activated epoxy that is used to hold components when doing double sided component boards. Now I got my glue from eBay from China for like seven or eight dollars or so and it came in 30 milliliters of a big syringe and I put it in these smaller syringes so this way it's easier to work with. Now this supply for working at home with little stuff this will last me forever. It will most likely go bad before I actually use it all. Okay as you can see I already have my solder paste on down on everywhere I need it. Now I have a few components on here. I have a micro SD slot, a button, a switch, a micro SD connector and a lipo connector. Each one of these I need to put a little bit of this red stuff on it. So what I end up doing is taking this syringe and very gently pushing on it. Whoop, there we go. And it comes out really quick. And it's fairly sticky. I pull back in a little bit. There we go. Where it's a little dab and literally I'm just going to dab corners. Like that. That's all you need. Literally. I'm just touching it. And this way I can put a few applications. Before I have to see how it's stringy still. I can apply two more. And let's give a little bit more out. I mean, you really do not need much of this at all. And it's really sticky. So the second you touch it to the board, it wants to come off. Put a little bit in this center. Now we'll hold that in place. I want to put two in these little non-pleated holes. Making sure I don't touch the solder paste and screw it up. There we go. A little bit for the micro SD spot. And they'll flatten themselves out fairly well. And we get a little bit more for this last component. Come on. That is literally all you need. When you're done, just pull it back, sucks it back in. Don't get too much air into it, just enough to get it back. And then I can put the cap back on it and protect it because chances are this stuff will go bad in regular air. So here it is before reflow with all the components placed. And here it is after reflow. Worked out really nicely. You can see it right here and right here. They're darker red now and I can scratch them. Yeah, that stuff's not coming off at all now. You can also see if you can see it on the other corner right here. A little bit came out from the micro SD slot. And yeah, that's never going to go anywhere ever again. And just to keep in mind also, the solder paste I used for this was not just regular lead free solder paste that usually melts at 250 degrees C. This was low temp from SRA solder paste, sorry it's not focused all the way, which is a tin bismuth silver blend. And this melts at 137 degrees C. I have my reflow oven set to peak out at 165 degrees C. So you can use low temp solder paste with this and this will still cure perfectly fine. So that's nice quick and easy and even a cheap way of making sure your components don't fall off your board if you're doing dual sided. I haven't populated the other side yet but if you want to keep components from falling off during a second reflow great way to do it and it saves a lot of hassle. If you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them down below.